Tonight it's International Night at Netherdale. Scotland A taking on the USA Eagles. Now I tell you, this Scotland side's a pretty useful looking outfit. Plenty of full internationals. But the Americans, they've got stronger the longer their tour has gone on. I tell you, tonight I think we're going to see some pretty good rugby here in Gala. The USA Eagles led out by Sales, Mike Petrie, and a few of the other Eagles side play their rugby in Europe as well. And Scotland, great to see them led out by Al Kellogg. A second start after a long injury layoff. And a few of these lads in this squad will want to put their hands up tonight and catch the eye of the national selectors. Into first minute, first line out well taken there by Hayden Smith. But referee Matteo Reynald spotting an offence there. Chance for David Blair to get Scotland on the board with less than two minutes gone straight through the middle. 3-0 to Scotland A. The Eagles putting a bit of pressure on the Scottish line. Free kick from that scrum taken quickly by Petri out to Inosa. Offload to Suniula. Oh, great tackle there by David Blair and Roddy Grant. Keeping the ball alive. Paul Emmerich. Big tackle there by Stuart McAnally. Americans looking for quick ball. Out again to Inosa. Scott Lawson and Fraser McKenzie in on the tackle there. And now the Americans lining up. They've got a sniff of the line here. But the Scots discipline, well, it's got a hold to keep them out. Chris Biller and Eric Fry edging the Eagles up towards the Scottish line. Scott Lawson again in on the tackle there. Roddy Grant, another thumping tackle. Great discipline by the Scots. Out to Inosa again. To Willy Vuka. Stopped by Ben Cairns. And a piece of grand larceny there by Stuart McInally. And that really broke it up. Chance for Mark McMillan to feed David Blair. And slam the ball down. Great clearance kick into the Americans' half. From the next line out. Great take by Al Kellogg. Scots getting a wee nudge on there. Back to Scott Lawson, setting up McMillan. Out there to Ben Cairns. Ah, nice wee dip at the defence over the 10 metre line. Laying it back. Alex Grove. Oh, some tackle there though. Quick ball again for the Scots. Out to Fraser McKenzie. Taking on the Americans. And forcing them into a little indiscretion there, giving David Blair the chance to pop over penalty number two after nine minutes. 20 minutes gone, and the Eagles proving quite difficult to break down for the Scots. Some pretty doughty defence there. Scott Lawson to Roddy Grant, setting it up. This is the quick ball they needed. Fraser McKenzie. Taking out two tacklers. Oh, Kellogg taking out three or four tacklers. Quick ball again. Moved right. Alex Grove, nice wee shimmy. They need quick ball here. They've got it. Roddy Grant, Jack Cuthbert and Lee Jones in at the corner for the first try. <laughs> and a borderer. Scoring the opening try of the night, that certainly pleased the Netherdale crowd. But that was it, no conversion, no further score. Halftime, Scotland A11, Eagles nil. Scrum Magazine. Subscribe online at scrummagazine.com. Into the second half, and it had been just a wee bit frustrating for the Scots, unable to break down a pretty solid American defence. Jack Cuthbert tidying that up there. Setting it up for Mark McMillan. David Blair. Good ball there to Jeff Cross. Cross 
Again, taking out three or four tacklers. And the Scots looking just for that wee bit of a spark. Out to Jim Thompson. Oh, almost through there. Scott Lawson tidying it up. Player again. Stuart McAnally, the young number eight, having a pretty good game. Scrappy, scrappy ball there. Scott Lawson tidying it up again, but knocked forward. 25 minutes of the half gone. Duncan Weir on for the Scots. Out to Ben Cairns and oh, finally getting behind the American defence. Great support by Mark McMillan, but not passing Zach Test. The Scots driving in though, looking for quick ball. Ben Cairns in there. Up to Alex Grove. And oh, a peach of an offload to Kyle Trainer And a big prop. Oh boy, he enjoyed that one. Great play by the by the Scots centre. And great support by Kyle Trainer Duncan Weir, straight through the post. And Scotland A now stretching it away with a quarter of an hour to go. A couple of minutes later, Roddy Grant taking it at the back. Ball whipped out there, Ben Cairns again. Now a real threat to the American defence. Mark McMillan popped up there to Tom Ryder, almost breaking through. Jeff Cross galloping on there. Oh, stopped just about five metres short, looking for a quick ball. Getting it this time. Ryder again, laying it back. And swift hands, lovely off-road from Mackenzie and Lee Jones in for his second try of the night. The Scots had to work very, very hard for that one. Duncan Weir, straight through the pose, 25 points to nil with 12 minutes to go. Weir was in on the action again as an American move got very, very messy. The young standoff getting a boot to that one. Outpacing Inoza, in for the try, had to be, oh, taken out there by Colin Hawley, but he still got the touchdown, didn't he? Not according to the referee, who seemed to see a knock-on. Well, we'll look at that one from another angle. Duncan Weir showing some pretty fancy football skills, keeping it under control, knocking the ball over the line, going for the touchdown. Oh, taken out by Colin Hawley. That is either a try or a penalty try, surely. Well, not according to the referee. But the Americans still had to spend the last couple of minutes of the game pinned inside their own 22, trying to run the ball away. Dave Denton making sure they weren't able to do that. The ball out to Enoza for the final play of the game. We chip ahead. Little knock on there by Henry Pergos. Spotted by the referee. And that was it. Final score. Scotland A 25. The USA Eagles no. Oh, we definitely had to work for it, but we knew we would. Um, credit to their defence. I thought some of it was very good, but our set piece was, was outstanding tonight. Front row did really well, and yeah, really pleased to get a good win against a reasonably good USA team. You took them apart in the scrum, and uh, you maybe really didn't capitalise enough, uh, you know, as much as you might have done, did you? Yeah, we spoke about half time about the fact that our, our set piece was going well, and we needed to try and make them work a little bit harder in defence. We didn't, we didn't do exactly that, but we came together on Monday. We've never played together. A really, really young team. A lot of guys out there getting their first A cap, which is a big honour for them. So we're really pleasing with their performances and just the, the all-round win. And from your own personal point of view, uh, a hard 65-70 uh, minutes? Yeah, very hard. I mean, that's, that's only my second game back, but I really enjoyed it. I was really keen to play um, and de delighted to get the opportunity to captain as well. It was an honour and I enjoyed every minute of it, but yeah, it was hard work. So Scotland coming out, 25 points to nil winners. Not an easy night for them against the Eagles, but in the end, a pretty convincing win. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at Netherdale.